America, I'm Tom Hand, the creator of Americana Corner, and welcome to Preserving America. Today we are spotlighting one of our Americana Corner grant recipients, historic Fort Ticonderoga on beautiful Lake Champlain. And joining us is Matt Kegel, his curator. Matt, welcome to Americana Corner. Good to be here. Great to see you. Uh, please tell us about the rich history of Fort Ticonderoga and your current mission. Certainly. Well, Fort Ticonderoga sits, as you said, on Lake Champlain in far upstate New York and is a site that contains layer upon layer of historical significance, uh, particularly relating to the military conflicts that have shaped the history of this continent and the creation of the United States within that. So we have on this site uh, documentation of military actions going back to the beginning of the 17th century and some of the earliest European colonization of North America, all the way up to the period that Ticonderoga is best known for uh, during the Seven Years' War, the French and Indian War, and the American Revolution, when an actual fortification was constructed on the site by the French army beginning in 1755 that was hotly contested between the French and the British in that campaign, um, culminating in what was the bloodiest engagement fought on this continent until the Mexican-American War of the 1840s, making this uh, a place of international significance um, and ensuring that it would be fought over in the next war, the American War for Independence. <laughs> uh, when it was a, a central part of the action of the first three years of the war uh, and its capture in May of 1775 represents really the first offensive military victory of the revolution by American forces. That is so fascinating. Uh, what a great history and so, what is the uh, the current mission uh, of uh, Fort Ticonderoga? I'm sure it's to convey the importance of that past to today's uh, visitors. Absolutely. Uh, the Fort Ticonderoga Association that manages the Fort Ticonderoga Museum uh, today stewards just around 2,000 acres of the historic landscape here in both New York uh -huh. and Vermont that covers the full extent of the actual garrison grounds of the fort, which are much larger than the fort's walls themselves, uh, and includes uh, the battlefield surrounding the fort itself. Our mission today is to preserve, of course, um, it's to educate, and it's also to provoke an active discussion about this past and its meaning for the present and the future. Uh, and we do this not just through the, the site itself and exploring that site, but through the various programs and educational things that we do here, uh, as well as through the collection. Fort Ticonderoga was founded as a museum and open to the public by President William Howard Taft in July of 1909. So we are over that. That's a fascinating. century old. And for over that century, we have not only been preserving the landscape, we have been collecting the material culture of warfare from this broader period, from the 17th century all the way up through the American Revolution, even up to the period of the War of 1812, to help put these events in this place in context. And so our mission goes beyond just what Ticonderoga is as an historic site in the battlefield, but what it represents more broadly in American and really in Atlantic and international history. I visited there, it's, it's majestic. It's just, it, it's fantastic. You can't get enough of it. You guys have a, a very robust living history program that so impressed me. Can you talk to us about that a bit? Oh, absolutely. The ability to kind of bring these events you know, back to life in some ways engages people uh, more than maybe seeing an exhibit in some cases, or it gives them greater appreciation of the exhibits when they see these objects and these ideas in action. And our living history program here is, I think, one of the most innovative in the country in that you don't walk into Fort Ticonderoga and every day is 1776, in part because the history, is, as we've been talking about, is so sweeping. Uh, the fort was begun in late 1755, and from that point on, it was almost continually occupied all the way to 1777 by three different national armies and as many auxiliary forces from both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. So if it was every year was one year, you'd miss so much of the story. And so uh, our public history team developed uh, a, a model whereby every year we portray a different year in Fort Ticonderoga's history. 
And, and I should add here at this point that we're, we're looking to do something even more exciting. As we're nearing the 250th anniversary of the revolution, uh, we have a program called Real Time Revolution, which is starting this year in May. What that means is that for four years, from 2024 to 2027, we will be portraying the troops, the civilians, the associated camp followers at Ticonderoga in real time as the revolution unfolded between 1774 and 1777. That is fascinating. Uh, um, I want to shift gears just a little bit Certainly. and talk about the, uh, the updated signage project that Americana Corner helped to fund. Can you talk to us about that project, please? Oh, of course. So having a 2,000 acre site, there's a lot of property um, and you need across that landscape some way to help interpret what had happened in the past in various important places. And so when we when we looked at this project, we thought, you know what, this is a good opportunity to unify the signage at the site, update the research as necessary, design new signs um, that reflect our, our better understanding of the events uh, that unfolded here. But we want to conveyed through all of this signage that this site is so rich and contains layer upon layer of history. And those layers mean that it's hard to just tell one story. You have to tell layers of stories. And so that's what this sign allows us to do to kind of inspire people to understand this landscape and its complexity better. And, and hopefully also encourage them to talk to our staff because it's the combination of reading signage and then engaging with the people that we have here that I think creates the richest experiences for our visitors. Yeah, thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, I, and I will encourage our listeners out there if you get a chance, please visit Fort Ticonderoga. Uh, it's a journey well worth making. And, uh, and so uh, thank you, Matt, for your time today. And, uh, and thank you out there for listening. And until next time, may your love of country lead you. Mm -hmm.